just fractured. So we're going to be replacing that with an implant and an immediate provisional today. Okay, we're using the physics forceps. I'm going to snip any of this bothers you, Lance. Mm -hmm. You're going to feel a lot of pressure. Got our implant leveled and um, got the hex facing the facial. Um, and just to make sure that our abutment flare is going to be accommodated, we're going to profile the bone. This is the BioHorizon system where there's a guide um, that goes into the implant. And then, normally to get past the gingival margin, we go in reverse. But, you know, this is going past, so we can just go forward. Okay, we're grafting now. Um, most of the space defect is on the facial. Okay, so we got our space defect grafted, and we're going to get ready to make a provisional now. Okay, so we got our provisional abutment in place, and um, what I'm doing is just going to kind of look at it, and decide, do I need to shorten it, where do I need to prep it. You can prep it in the mouth, but um, actually it goes faster just putting it on an analog and kind of knowing where you want to end up. So going to be trimming the lingual, be trimming the facial, and I'll be trimming the height of it. Okay, so we got our abutment shaped, and um, I trimmed our polycarbonate crown. Got the contacts checked. I'm going to be straightening that incisal edge out so it looks a little more like the other the other lateral, but we're going to make it a little bit shorter just to keep it out of occlusion. And it allows the composite to bond. I'm out of the larger gauge. You know, we're doing the backfill, what I call the backfill. Okay, so we're polishing our um, crown now. I got the occlusion adjusted, I got the um, 
the shape of the gingival part adjusted. Because sometimes, you know, if it's too fat, sometimes teeth are skinnier at the root, and um, you may need to taper a little bit more to get it to fit in there. This fit pretty passively down. Okay, so we got our cotton in the axis. I try to put as much cotton as possible so that um, the restorative dentist doesn't really need to remove a lot of composite to get to the screw hole um, and access that. So we're going to fill that in and then I'm going to add a little bit to the incisal edge here on the corner. Um, but in order to get it to stick, I'm going to need to paint on a little bit of monomer here. Now slide to the left, slide straight forward. Okay, we're going to take a look at this in a couple weeks. This is a two-week healing of the immediate implant and provisional on number 10. It's a little closer shot and then we'll take a, a look at the x-ray next. So here's our x-ray and we're going to take a look at uh, this all in a couple months. Okay, this is a three month healing of the immediate implant and provisional on number 10, and he'll be going for the final restoration next.